Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are unfamiliar, my name is Meg and I am very excited to be here today. First of all, I have a new head. I got some new hair. My friend Bianca really turned me into the little emo girl of my dreams and I am very, very excited about it. It's very cute. Um, it doesn't look as great um, when I do it because I, I, I can barely brush my hair. So I tried to uh, replicate these very cute little waves that she put into my hair. Um, and it doesn't look anything like it, but I tried. Anyways, the reason we're here, we are doing a full look using the Morphe and Nikita Dragon palette. I, you know, I wasn't going to get this, but I, something about these blue shadows and this green here and like these neutrals, I was like, well, I mean, I guess I gotta buy it. So I've had it for a minute. I did play around with it um, like a couple, like a week or so ago, maybe. Um, I just wanted to try out the neutral shades. And I figure, why not do a pretty fall bronzy autumnal look? Maybe it's something you want to wear to Thanksgiving, which um, I hope you are doing safely if you are at all. Um... Yeah, it's a very, I think, simple, uh, easy to do look. Doesn't require a ton of skill. I did cheat and use a product that is not part of this collection, but I feel like it really needed that little extra, you know? Before we get into this video, just a few housekeeping things. If you are not already, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I, I have just, you know, a hundred and... 18 beautiful people that want to watch me talk about who even knows what these days. So I'm very appreciative for all of my new friends that I have made over the last couple of days here. That's very exciting. And I really, really, really appreciate it. And I really appreciate it if you have shared my videos um, on any of your social media platforms. That is really, really cool. Second thing, if you are not following me on Instagram, um, then what the freaking heck are you doing? Make sure you go over there and hit the follow button. I post a ton of stories, all that jazz. Make sure you're doing that. And yeah, I'm gonna stop um, rambling because I'm starting to sweat. Um, I already did my base and everything. Um, I didn't mention that in this video, so I will leave it down below for you if you're curious about what is on my face. And yeah, um, without further ado, let's just get in this video. I already have my base on and my eyebrows to save us a little bit of time um, because we would be here forever. I am using a new brow product um, that I don't know where it is. Hold please. I am still using the KVD Signature Brow Pencil and it is my favorite. I also introduced the Milani Weekend Brow Pen into my routine and I really, really, really like the way that makes the front of my brows look. Really makes my brows look fluffy. Today we're going to be using the Nikita and Morphe palette. This has been out for a minute um, and I didn't think it was going to be restocked in Ulta, but it is. So here it is. I have used it a little bit already. I just kind of used these top shadows here because that's my that's my safe place. You know, I'm really into this, but on an everyday basis, I'm going to I'm going to stick to my safe place. I really want to use this army green shade. I really like the way that that looks. And I did a look yesterday um, that was more green and brownie. So maybe I'll do that again today because you didn't see it. So I'm going to start with the shade Shapeshifter. It's just like a pretty neutral soft brown. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M441 brush, which is a little bit more of a tapered blending brush. Oh, I didn't prep my eyes. I'm going to prep my eyes with my soft ochre paint pot first so that I have a base. I didn't even think about that. I'm so used to doing my eyes first that this didn't even cross my mind. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Shape Shifter on the M441 brush. I'm gonna tap off the X, oh, tap off the accent. I'm gonna take that shade on the M441 brush and I'm going to press that right on the outer portion of my eye, focusing it more towards the lash line and blending it upwards and into my crease. That's more of just our transition shade, just so whatever we put down blends right into that. Then I'm gonna take the shade Artificial, which I said I wasn't gonna go into that top row, but I feel like I have to just to deepen that up a little bit. And I'm gonna take that on an M456 brush, which is a little bit more of a flat blending brush. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with Shape Shifter. I'm gonna focus it more on my lash line and then blend it upwards. I'm using this brush because it's just going to pack a little bit more color. Then I'm going to take Army, which is that green shade right here at the bottom, and that same M456 brush. And this is one of those colors that you want to build up. You don't want to go in heavy with that green. It's better to add more. You can always add more. You can't take away once you've gotten this far. You know what I mean? So just start small, build up that color to the intensity that you want. I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm focusing it more on the outer uh, portion of my eye closest to my lash line. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to blend that into those orange shades. As you can see, I'm holding my brush more towards the end of it. I'm not choking up on it at the top because I want it to be a little bit more loose in my hand so that I'm not concentrating that color too, too much, uh, but I have a little bit more control. Putting my base down is a dangerous game with me. I make a mess with my shadows and I'm not really experiencing any fallout, so I'm a big fan of that. And these Morphe shadows are blending really, really lovely. I don't use Morphe palettes as much as I used to. So this is a very refreshing little moment with me and Morphe. What I'm going to do is take a M124 brush, which is a little bit more of a, a tiny little brush. It has concealer on it. Please spare me. I'm going to load it up with 703, which is that coppery gold shade. And then I'm going to spray my brush with some setting spray. And I'm going to put this right in the center of my eye so that it's a little bit more bronzy. Oh, there's a little bit of flaw there, but that's fine. And I'm just pressing it into my lid and then going in with that M441 and dusting away any of the fallout. Okay, well, not that easy. We just brush it away. Oh, good. They're mowing the lawn. Oh, good, 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 good. Just like that. Then I'm going to take Escort, which is that like true yellow gold, and do the exact same thing, load it up on my little brushy brush, and then spritz it with a little spray so that we get op optimal shimmer, and pop that right in that inner corner, right in that negative space. That is yellow, okay. I mean, it's pretty. I might cheat and add some MAC glitter because I, I feel like it could benefit from that. It's a very autumnal eye, very autumnal. I'm gonna cheat and I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to this. I'm gonna add the MAC Dazzle Glitter. This was um, a holiday collection from two years ago. Um, and I'm kind of disappointed because I'm definitely like, I'm definitely running out of this and it's one of my favorite like liquid liner glitter 
jams and I can't find anything that looks like it and I'm afraid that it will it will never ever ever come back so I try to use it sparingly but it's just so pretty I'm gonna put it right on the front of my lid and then with my finger tap it out to disperse it you can use like um Midnight Cowboy would be really pretty from Urban Decay or any glitter really but this just yeah see it just takes it up just a teeny little bit so this kind of definitely took over that yellow, but I don't even care because it's, oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to a diner for breakfast and I'm going to be the best looking person in that diner probably. I'm gonna put some liner on and I'll be right back. I put my liner on. I use the Better Than Sex liquid liner. It's my favorite. I haven't really tried anything else recently. Um, if I do, I'll let you know, but that one's definitely my favorite. Okay, let's pop some lashes on before we move on to our bottom lid. I'm going to take some um, Urban Decay. This is the Zero liner, and I'm gonna line my upper waterline just so that it hides any of the band. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. I'm still using the Essence Lash Princess mascara. I am currently very obsessed with it. I have yet to wear it other than uh, my previous video, like on its own. Lashes make me feel good. I have a hard time not wearing them. You know, they make me feel confident. I know that's like, sounds silly, but like when I wear a big pair of lashes, it makes me feel like, you know, just like the coolest person in the room. Then I'm going to take the Kiss Lashes in the style Lacy, which are some of my, oh, my hands are dirty, oh, disgusting. Um, one of my favorite style of lashes. I'm going to um, use the Duo 30 Second Quick Set glue. This is a really great glue for beginners because it kind of tells you when it's ready and it's super easy to use. So I'm just going to let that get tacky. I'm gonna do a whole in-depth lash video, but I wanted to do this one first um, because I really wanted to play with that palette. So you can kind of see when it starts to get tacky, it starts to get a little bit more iridescent -y blue. All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna put, hold the mirror down underneath my eye and I'm gonna rest the lash right in the center as close to the lash line as I can. And then tuck in these little sides. And again, I'll put up a whole lash video probably after Thanksgiving. Yeah, see, lashes just make everything so much better. I, mean, ugh, I just love them. And I love these lashes too. They're so cheap. They're like $6. I get so many. These aren't lacy, I just realized. These are tulle. I'm gonna work on my lower lash line. I'm going to do literally the exact same thing I did on my upper lid right on the bottom using those same shades. Um, the only difference is when I use Army, I'm gonna take a denser little flat brush and run that right against my lash line. I just threw on a little bit of this MAC Plenty of Pout uh, lipstick in the shade So Swell. I don't know if these are even out anymore, but it's just like a little bit of a lip plumping lipstick because I didn't want to put, I didn't want to do too much on the lip because um, I feel like the eyes are pretty severe. So I wanted to keep it, you know, sort of uh, neutral as much as I could. But um, yeah. That is the finished look. If you can get your hands on this palette, I would recommend it. Like I said earlier, Morphe, I haven't purchased a Morphe palette in 
in quite some time, but something drew me to these colors. So I'm really happy that I did grab this. I urge you to grab it too, especially if you want to experiment with a little bit of color. There are some great pops of colors in here. I really want to get into these like crazy bizarre shades and all that at some point in life. So if you want to see another look using this, please let me know down below. I would be really, really appreciative of that. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave and share it with your friends and family and everybody you know. So yeah, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.